sorry. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. I completely, I completely forgot. Like, you were even <laughs> playing. You were gone for so long. I was just kind of like, I'm gonna relax here. And I was just talking to some people in the chat, and I completely forgot about you. Like, the only reason why I wasn't like scared when you joined was because like you have such a soothing voice. Oh, th th did, th th thank you. <laughs> how did you get out the nether rack? I mined it up. <laughs> I like how you didn't question it either. <laughs> I, I I was I was going to, but I let, I let you complete your sentence. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um. All right. Where was I in my story? So, I think where we were, were you? I think we were testing the car for spark. So yes, we took. We took we took the uh, the boots off the spark plugs to see if you know if, if you put them against a, a certain type of metal the, there'll be a little bit of a spark that you can see we didn't see that so then we took the distributor apart which I was very skeptical about that because when you start to me mess with the timing for a motor that's where you could really fuck up your car and I was really scared to, to take that apart. Do you have the birch saplings, by the way? I do. Oh, I was about to throw you the... the, the, the... Here are hey, the Sakura hey. saplings. Hey, here... Hey, there, there's Bitten. The, 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 one who oh, yeah. start, the one who started FaceTime. Yeah. Well, we're on what part did that start? I think in part one, or part two. It, it wasn't in part one, it was probably part two. Yeah, probably, probably, some, probably somewhere at the beginning of part two. I don't know why, but I don't know either. But I think it's catchy. I'm just gonna roll with it. Yeah, th that's that's what I've always done with nicknames. But <laughs> so we decided. Used to be called Bluetooth. So we so you know my neighbor's like sitting there. He took apart the distributor and he and he started to file down the points for the distributor. Which if they do get corroded, they could cause a disruption in the power going to the motor. Mm-hmm. That didn't solve it, so then it was the ignition coil. We managed to find one at an auto zone, so we went to auto zone, we picked one up, we brought it back, installed it into the car, still wouldn't start. But the thing that I realized is, is with the new ignition coil, between when the car died and putting in the new coil, the car seemed really healthy when it was trying to crank over. So it's like, okay, so is this like maybe yes a fuel issue? But then my neighbor brought up a good point. He said that it could be if the car has an ignition relay, which is basically kind of like a fuse for your car's ignition. Uh huh. He said that could be bad. And depending on the car, obviously, since I have an older car and that it's made in Japan, it, it's probably made in a very inconvenient spot. It wasn't, right. thankfully. We only had to take the glove box out of the car. We go to like four different places the next day to take the find an ignition coil. Oh. None of them. They like we went to maybe Advanced Auto, and they said the nearest coil that they had was in Northern California. Dang! <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, let's go home and let's try to order it online. Then we start to look, and apparently, that at some point, my car must have been in a million pieces. Because I'm pretty sure that my ignition system is not the same ignition system that's supposed to be in the car. Because every, every coil and fuse that we looked at wasn't the same fuse that was coming out of the car. Mm -hmm. So... We kind of eliminated that issue because my dad took the re one of the relays for the fuel system out since it was the exact same plug. The car still wouldn't start up, start up. My dad had to take his truck in today for repairs at the mechanic that we usually go to. And he, and he asked him what, what the issue could be. He's like, oh, is the car trying to crank over really fast? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, that could be something with the timing chain. And that right uh, there... I had a problem with that. Well, in the automotive world, if your timing chain breaks, or if it falls off or skips a tooth, that could mean suicide for your motor. 
It could yes. really mean it. And I was like, all right, well, I know an easy way to test this. So based an easy an easy way to test if the timing chain is broken and not moving the whole top end of the motor, this would move like you know everything on the top end of the motor wouldn't move, which wouldn't cause the car to start, but it would still try to turn over. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, I, I told my dad just go grab your flashlight. We're gonna try this really quick. I decided to take the oil cap off which you can see the camshaft, which is rotated by the timing chain. And I told him, just look in there, I'm going to crank the car over really quick, and he said it was moving. So I was like, all right, that rules out the possibility of the timing chain being broken. And then I asked him to let me take a look at it, and I looked at the camshaft, and this is where I started to really get pissed off. <laughs> and this was this morning, by the way, because... Oh, no. I... This is recently. Yeah, well, thankfully in the end, thankfully in the end, my neighbor came back over, and it was it was it was normal to see. But basically, whenever something looks like that, it's scorched. Like if the metal surface looks like it's really like scratched up, and like it looks heated, and it, it, it and it doesn't feel smooth. I didn't feel it because I didn't feel like sticking my finger into a hot motor. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I wonder why. Why didn't you? <laughs> but I saw one of the cam lobes, and normally the cam lobes are egg shaped. They're not supposed to be rounded. It looked egg shaped, but it definitely looked like it had a lot of heat marks on it. And that's when I said, "Oh no, that's not good." And that could mean a lot of things. That could mean that from us trying to turn the motor so many times that so much fuel built up in the cylinders for the motor, you can't compress liquid, right? Yes. So basically, when liquid can't compress, what happens? Things start to bend. So I started to figure that a rod got bent for one of the pistons, and the piston was making contact with the top end of the motor, which means your motor's toast. Or, there could be damage to the top end of the motor, which isn't a good thing. If valves are hitting the cam, then that means, you know, there's metal in the motor, and metal going through a car engine, that's not a good thing at all. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't think so. That, that's, and that's pretty bad. So my neighbor came over, and I was like, hey, just look, look, look at the, uh, the cam lobe through, through the oil, the oil through the uh, the oil the oil fucking cap. And he's mm -hmm. like, how many miles does the car have? And I'm like, you know, surprisingly, my car has low mileage for a 1983 and only has 85,000 miles. And Only 85,000? Yeah. It's a low mileage what? car, but I'm beginning to doubt that. <laughs> I'll, I'll get into that. I believe, okay. I've believed it for the past year. I've almost had this car for a year. I've believed it for the past year, but the past two days have made me believe no way in hell. Yeah. So, he he looked at it and he's like, you know, that's very normal wear for a motor with 80,000 miles. I'm like, oh, that's good. Okay. And then my dad gets a call from the mechanic just giving him an update on his truck and everything. And he, he was talking to him, you know, we saw that the top end of the motor was moving and everything. Does that rule out the timing chain? And he said yes. If it was a timing chain, I'd probably be looking to sell the car right now. Because the whole front half of the motor would need to come apart. And easily for labor, that's a thousand dollars. That's not even parts. <laughs> oh god, dude. Yeah. So at this point, which this is good news in my case, because it's better than the whole motor being toast. The um whatchamacallit. It's most likely something electrical. Mm -hmm. And yes, hunting down something electrical in a car from 1983 is terrible, but that's a lot cheaper. No, that sounds great. What are you it, talking about? It, it's a lot cheaper of a fix than taking half the motor apart. <laughs> so well, I mean, cheaper's one thing, but plausible is another. Like, where the hell do you even find that part? 
Um, me and my dad ended up buying books. Like the car manuals and everything. We ended up buying a bunch of books that gives you a diagnostic on the whole car. So mm -hmm. if we ever need to track down a problem, we can go right to the book and we can start to look at the the possible issues and where they are and we can tell the mechanic where they are. Oh, hi there. Hey. But, but I have an elytra anymore, so... Oh, Guess you... what I use. Well, look, look, uh, look at it, look at it, look at it. Do you know how to repair it? Yeah, yeah, but I don't know where to get the membrane. Mem well, Fans. I know where to get it, but it's like, Fans. we all sleep on yeah. the server. I have a few, actually. If I, I, I could go and, uh, whatchamacallit, I could go grab them later. I managed to find them in the spawn chest, ironically. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the free stuff. There was like four of them sitting there, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'll take these. <laughs> Why not? A mass cast. Cast is the one who fills up that uh, free chest. Oh, she's the one who supplied me with all the cod. <laughs> yeah, me too. Is, is, that, is that what you? <laughs> yep, that's that's what I went and grabbed when I died. <laughs> well, dude, the cod the cod is what I get when uh when I just run out of food in general. I'm like, uh, I'll check if there's cod. <laughs> too lazy to make my own. So, just to end off my story here, why do I think? That my car is no longer some of the original parts. When my dad took the fuel line off, oh, there uh -huh. were markings on the valves for the fuel line. That, right. told, that had arrows saying fuel this way, fuel that way. And from factory in Japan, they don't do that because of an assembly line being programmed to build the car. Mm -hmm. And also the relays. When I looked up on Google... Relays for a 1983 Datsun 280 or an 80 to an 83 Datsun 280ZX. I, you know, like all the relays that they were giving us were wrong. So oh. I'm beginning to believe that what ended up happening, and this is a lesson that I've learned about owning a Datsun for about a year now. Mm -hmm. There's a good reason why they all sit. There's a good reason why people don't restore them often, that you barely see them. There's a good reason why they rust. And that's because parts. Parts are hard to find. And when something goes wrong on the car, it's either an easy fix with mm -hmm. no expense to it, or it's a really expensive, hard to find part that you most likely need to get imported from Japan. So I'm beginning to think that the car is only two owners. The father originally bought the car and then gave it to his son. That's what the title says. But obviously they were both cops. It's very clear that the car was in several accidents at some point and it had a lot of body work done at this point. Because the whole passenger side of the car, the doors don't line up with the body lines, the fender, the hood, none of the stuff on the passenger side looks like it lines up. Of course, the car was fixed correctly to an extent. To the point where it could be sold again, and you wouldn't question it. Yes. So, my guess is, the car ended up being in an accident. It ended up sitting in a garage for several years for sale, at a very high price of it being a pretty looking car. But functionally, no. It ended up getting rats in it, and that's when we came along. Yeah. But also, I, I remember think... that rat story. <laughs> I get shivers, dude. It's... But I think my car was a project for a little while and when this guy saw that this was just way too expensive he decided to just try to dump the car for as much that he could get and i was explaining my mom th th this this point and this is exactly how we ended up with the car and it happens a lot in the car world when you know someone has a car you're dumping a lot of money into it you're going to try to get rid of it at any cost yeah but, but think of it you have a car sitting up up on the market for a while and you're trying to get, you know, at least somewhat of the market value of a good car back. And no one's buying it. Everyone's just asking you questions and it's just sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. And after several years, you know, you're really going to want to get rid of the car. So that's how we ended up paying a very low price for it. Come look at the sunset with me for a bit. Come, <laughs> come look at this. Come look at this. Well, actually, never mind. You don't have my texture pack. It probably doesn't look as pretty on your screen. Uh, I wish I had my Heisley on Day's texture pack still. 
Look at that, that sunset was pretty. Well, the, the normal Minecraft sunset is pretty. Yeah, no, it is. It is. This one's more circular. A circular sunset instead of the, the yellow square. Oh, it's the uh, the rules. It's the rules breaking sunset. Okay. Yeah. Circles it's a, in Minecraft. It's a fake circle. <laughs> you ever seen the round like trees? Those that... throw me off. Have you ever seen the uh, the mod pack for when uh, what you call it <laughs> when when it when it turns everything? Oh oh no! Do you have a bucket of milk? What happened to you? Uh, there's a pillager. Oh shit! I didn't get the effect. Why is there a pillager on my land? Why is no one sleeping? I must go to my house. Well, hey, I got a pillager banner for you. <laughs> I got like three downstairs. I think we're actually ready to start building this thing. I was about to jump. <laughs> oh my! Well, yeah, no, yeah, we can do that then. That, that, that how, I... However you want, dude. Like, uh, well, we no, can I... call this a part one of gathering materials, and then the next time we jump on, we'll do the actual build. Yeah, maybe we'll try to. I don't know. Maybe... We'll play that. We'll play. We'll play that song they played in Red that when they played. Uh, they started building the house. I, I was actually thinking of trying to edit that in for, for like a speed up. I'm <laughs> like a, a montage? I, that'd be so cool. <laughs> we we that's could try we could try to we could try to choreograph something for a montage. We could maybe try to get a few that'd people for that. Yeah, that'd maybe, be fun. Maybe, get Haz on here. Yeah, yeah. Get Haz. Ask Matt. Maybe Glenn. Just get get a bunch of people and dress them up in cowboy suits. <laughs> They wouldn't do it, but it'd be funny to ask anyways. Oh, I'm willing to bet I could get some people to do it. <laughs> oh, dude. If you find someone to do it, and we'll, we'll do it. That would be so much fun. I'll... I'll have to move my pets, too. I just realized. Who who, uh, who are the three people that built it? It was John Marston. It was uh, and Charles. The old, the old man. Well, the old man was there for moral support. Yeah. What, what, what yeah. was his name? Uncle. Uncle. Uncle, Uncle was there for moral support. And then Charles. If we, if we could get you and two other people, I'd say yeah, let's yeah, let's go for it. We'll do a whole little build. <laughs> and what? And you're the moral support guy? No, I'll just film it. <laughs> okay. No, I'll film it. Like we'll get like two other people, and I'll just like you know I'll film little Easter eggs of you guys building it. Wait. Or, like little. I can do the whistle, right? <laughs> the reason I know is because I can play. I learned it on guitar. <laughs> That was anticlimactic. I didn't hear it. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> My stupid mic didn't pick that up. Okay, hold on. I was, I was sitting there and I was like, is he going to do it? <laughs> I did do it. I worked so hard to do it. Why is I want to sleep? I'm going to go to sleep. I don't want mobs in my house. Get off my property. Hippity hoppity, this is now my property. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna walk into. Oh, oh, I'm gonna go to Alex's base right now. Right now. <laughs> Don't go out there. Don't go out there. Do not fret, dear boy. There is another way out. Uh, yeah, but there's like eight creepers. Ah, uh, who is it? <laughs> Jehovah Witnesses. <laughs> and spiders. What did you do to piss these people off? I don't know. Excuse I'm, I'm, I'm me. Um. You don't have the right to be on my property. Please leave. Get wrecked, son. And oh yeah, creeper. I need I need the animus. I need the animus so then we can at least get a little bit of a a little bit of a continuation of the Red Harlow Red Harlow love story. Oh yeah, yeah, we. That is a love <laughs> story you're gonna want to hear, dude. You know what? For for when I do the whole podcast podcast series, we'll we'll, we'll pick a day to sit down, it, so then you can tell. Yeah, me. if you want to save it for that, I'm I'm more than happy. Yeah, to. no, that 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 sounds like. Oh, a did you see that shot? I I caught the end of it. Okay, whatever. But but you know, I just need to ask this because I remember uh, Matt's boss at Starbucks. <laughs> 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 just so every episode we you know include a little bit of the uh the the the, the saga of all the stories we you, you've you've heard about his boss 
Well, yeah, no, I, I want to know if there's like, you know, like, you know, do you still go there and like try to I figure still out go there? there. I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't seen the boss. There's this cute girl at the register, though. She's like, <laughs> she looks Filipino, I think. Oh, my neighbor. Or, <laughs> I, I, I seriously doubt she's your neighbor. Just, no, just, no, just no. a hunch. But, um, she's pretty cute. She was really funny. She, like, the other day I kind of walked in, like, not really feeling it, and she goes, Oh my god! Like, how is she said? How are you? I'm sorry, but the white girl voice broke your mic. <laughs> <laughs> she, she basically asked if I'm fine. I said, I'm fine. She said, just fine. And so I'd be doing a lot better with this mask off. And she just laughs. And we had some, like, banter. I, we were... We're... We were talking, you know, we are just having fun. It was whatever. And then I got in my car, I sent a message to Matt. I go, hey, Matt, that girl, uh, the, the cute short one at the register, is she single? And Matt goes, no. And here's the kicker. He tells me, her boyfriend is actually uh, roommates with my boss's boyfriend. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> there's a single household out there that's just ruining my love life. <laughs> <laughs> Two guys under the same roof, and they don't know it, but they totally just, yeah. <laughs> we we need we need to make uh we need to make like a parody video. You know what? Anybody on Nebula, if you know how to do like Photoshop or like editing software or anything, you need to make the Star Wars intro, but it's all of Red Stories. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's the proposal for like part one then it's like you know the, the <laughs> episode first one story. and, and no, just dude. call, no, I, just it, call it, it if we're doing this Star Wars version I read, I'm already on the right track because I'm totally telling these like out of out of order <laughs> <laughs> but but here's here's the thing we don't call it Star Wars we call it Simp Wars Simp <laughs> No! Oh no! Matt's gonna hear this, and he's gonna. <laughs> you don't understand. Every time, every time something like this comes up, he's like, "Oh yeah, I saw Face's video." <laughs> Derek called me a simp in, in the moderator group chat. What? Why do you think I do it? Just so that, just so that I know if Matt's still watching the videos. It's so funny. Like, <laughs> what did he have to say about the prom story? How do you? Oh, I don't know if he got there. You know, I, uh, I, I actually, he never told me anything about that one. I actually, Look, because that was wholesome. That was wholesome. It wasn't simp. Yeah, it was that, wholesome. that was wholesome. I almost, I almost, I almost decided on editing the videos that you sent me at Discord. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded. Oh my! I was not flying. Stupid server, stop kicking me for flying. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have minded if you did. No, um, I, 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 no, I decided against it because, well. Literally last week, I probably have sixty plus hours of Movie Maker. <laughs> God, I did a lot of editing last week, so it I decided like... against it. Yeah, they, maybe it's, you made the right choice. <laughs> One more thing, I was going to. Uh... Is that another pillager? Get off my land! Get oh, that's not swamp. one. Oh, <laughs> that's that's a family. They're waging war, and I accept. I'm just, I'm just gonna sit back here and enjoy this. Oh, no, of course, the two of them are chasing me. Ah, they shot each other, idiots. I'm gonna ride my horse into battle. You ready for this? Hey, there's hats. Kind of don't want Marston to die. Uh, yeah, game glitch, but game glitch. Ah, you oh, gotta save no. me. I, the pillager is inside of Marston. Just oh, ride him away. Oh, oh, uh -huh. he's he's on me now. Hold on, come on, come on. <gasps> I almost shot my horse. There we go. They're dead now. All right, what did what did you want to add on after? After, after we you know destroyed a whole family there. Fam, I we didn't destroy a family. They came onto my land uninvited. Ter ter terrible. Oh wow, well, the, the short-lived adventures of Has. 
<laughs> it's another great series we're gonna watch. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Before we got uh, more, 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 more to the more to the simp story. <laughs> oh, okay. So you know how on like Discord, there's a, there, you can put like a like there's a title right, there's the name of the group chat, and then underneath it you can write like a little message, like a subtitle or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have seen that. Well, you can't see that on the phone. Like it's not immediately there. You would have to go into like the settings, kinda. And so for like a month they had, uh, because we have two group chats, right? There's like the, the memeing one where like all the staff are kind of just joke around with each other or get super personal or whatever. Oh, this is this is the the staff group chat for Nebula. Yeah. This isn't the main yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. No. And the, and then there is a a serious one where we take like matter seriously. Um. But in the memeing one, in the oh god. Ow. Uh, I looked at him. Oh, he's not happy with me. Oh no, he not happy. In, in the memeing one, the subtitle for like a month has been um, uh, you could tell jokes and sent for Luis here. <laughs> and I didn't know about this until one day I look at at the thing and I go, hold up, who's simping for me? <laughs> See, and, and this is this is the point when you're like, you know, why, why why did he have to join the server and then have to record all these videos with me? You? <laughs> you're not the problem here. It's more like I'm the one who I created just... the meme. No, the meme has been there, dude. You just made oh, it. Oh, it's been you it's just been there. I just added. It. It. Okay. Oh yeah, dude. I, like, there's another group chat with just me and four other people, and Matt's in that group chat. And they also call me a simp on there for different <laughs> reasons. But... Oh my god! <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, uh, gonna, I'm gonna make sure at least once every recording session we get. Uh... You 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 bring up my love life. Yes, we we at least we at least get a little snip bit of uh, you know. Where are you today, Louise? <laughs> ah, save us last week, Jimmy. Single f fuck. <laughs> Oh my god! All right, maybe. Well, I'm gonna jump off because my back hurts. Maybe what? Well, yeah, I, I was just gonna say, may, maybe one day I'll, I'll I'll tell the story of my first relationship. At least not the bad stuff, because there there are a few good stories in that one, especially See, the. Uh, <laughs> well, especially the one where I got uh, fucking drop kicked in the balls with high heels. <laughs> uh, what? Why? <laughs> Basically, I could tell you this, like you know. I, I kind of had, like, you know, that type of relationship where you tease each other. <laughs> had those two? Yeah, but basically in that relationship is when, like, you know, the teasing went too far. It was kind of like, you know, like it was a nudge on the shoulder. But instead in that moment, you know, I was kind of sitting on the bed and she was trying on shoes. And I got heel kicked in the balls when I said something <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I've been heels. in a relationship like that, too. Let me just say, I had no feeling there for about three days. <laughs> uh, that was not, that was look, not, that you was play with fun. fire, you're gonna get burned. Yeah. In, instead, in my case, I was playing with a nuclear bomb, and I got radiation. <laughs> radiation poisoning. Okay. Well, Mr. Face to the emo yeah, no, hope, GI. Ho ho hopefully you all have enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Howdy and goodbye. Words? Yeah, that was it. Ah, I fell into the pig pen. Okay. <laughs>